hi welcome into the channel this is sage centered healing tarot thank you for being here i do hope you're doing well in this time hamster okay so someone is planning for you in some way shape or form so something new okay i feel like what was some there's news news coming around so you said this could be a new person and you love interest and your business opportunity but you're gonna be hearing of something new you're gonna be receiving something new but something new i feel like you could be aware of what it is i'm talking about i feel like you could already have inherited this thing you know this new thing maybe you, i feel like it is a new path a new vision a new idea forward i feel like you're gonna be moving or going somewhere off to some place it's already moving child I don't sorry you know we're talking we're, we have adults in here but that's what, how it came through something is happening quickly to speech transitioning maybe a person moving toward you already but I feel like I'm, I'm, I have the energy of someone that has taken the wand here and is now moving off forward so you could be using gifts from your ancestors or whatever you've inherited but yeah I feel like you've claimed something already Oh my god. So we have the four of one. So something contractual, an agreement, something that you've been working for. Okay, like you want to get across the line. This is also the cut across the finish line. You know what I mean? And people are rooting for you. And this is the energy of um harmony, peace, whatever that means for you. Um, a business alignment, but you're getting it's you're going F in there. Like you're going somewhere. I told you, I feel the energy like you're already moving. Someone is on a journey. You know what I mean? It's like I can feel that like this person decides they're going to walk away. So someone has walked away from a relationship, walked away from the past. Because we do have the death card here, Cancer. Right? So something has definitely ended. I thought, I at the first, I said transition, right? With the Seven of Swords, I do also feel transition. And lots of shifts taking place. And, and then someone is moving forward on a road. Like I'm seeing a long road and someone walking out onto the road and deciding that they're going to go, go on that journey. Pause. <clears throat> I thought I, I saw a kitty cat. I thought I saw a kitty cat. <laughs> All right, so yeah, someone is moving. So, and there's also the six of one. So there's someone, there's definitely movement here. This could be fire sign or some charge. You're gonna be celebrating victorious. Like you're on the move, you're heading, to, you're heading somewhere. But, and you're getting there. You're standing out. I feel like you're standing out, you're outstanding. You're a leader, but so so i don't know maybe you're gonna be called to lead today to walk somewhere maybe this has to do with a project you're working on your home shellings like something will be shelling shell like when we say something is like something shell that mean it was amazing Or it can be broken down like something is I don't it was so amazing or something was broken down so something's shelling because I'm hearing shellings you know that's like um a part of how we speak here I don't know shellings I can't I don't mean you will mash it up or it's amazing so one out of the two and that came out to describe the death energy so something was shellings I don't know what was shelling, so we're gonna see. And then the, the ace of cups, the lovers, the letty F, are we talking about? King of cups, WTF, WTF is going on here. What is shelling? It has to do with the five of swords. So something could be, someone could be leaving. Shelling. 
Someone I could be leaving, departing. <laughs> Pisces, the kid, this King of Cups. I feel like someone had a vision or has a vision. It has something to do with money, and I heard escape. I don't know what you're talking about. This feels like escape too, like someone leaving. I hear buying, someone buying time, or they're buying something. I don't know what they're buying out here. So I feel like there are friends, like people, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of things, yeah. There are friends too. Friends may be coming around to you or you to them. But there's, this, oh, child, this is what I'm talking about. But you are not listening. You're using your discernment. And then you see the devil energy comes out as well. Someone wants to talk to you. Like someone could be coming in, coming around wanting to talk to you. So this could be a phone call vibration or like physically walking toward you. Or you're just going to meet up with this person somewhere. I feel like you may see police officers as well. I feel like you're protected by the police in some way, shape or form from this devil energy. Like a restraining order. Like someone got that a restraining order cancer see you're not taking calls you're not interested something is shell i'm telling you shellings i just keep feeling that and it, i feel like you're getting respect for the way how you handle that situation perhaps cancerian you know what i mean like someone is saying yo shell it shell I feel like you're, 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 you're brave. You're being so brave. Or so... Your fortune... Look, oh, I wanted to say like you're being so brave. But then I was like, so where is the strength? Here it is. Yes. Your world is changing. Your fortune. I feel like people will respect you, honor you. Because you decided to speak up or to stand up for something. You know, like it's the energy of testifying in court against this devil, a perpetrator. You know, you're speaking up against the devil. And a lot of people were afraid to do this. Like you're the only one that decided to do this, to speak up. You know what I mean? And it makes you bad ass. It makes you brave, courageous. It makes you a leader, an inspiration. And you're not even trying. I don't know. What compels you to do this, to be so brave? Like, I feel like you just have no fear of this opponent. You're literally in the right. And your angels are here. I feel like you have the right, the upper hand, the power, the control of the situation. That's how you, that's why you speak so confidently, so sure, so boldly. Whatever you're doing, you're going to win. Whatever you're up against, it could be law. You're going to effing win. Because I feel like people wanted to come attack you, come against you, to op oppose or to block or to obstruct you or to challenge your, your destiny. You know what I mean? Your, all of your fortune. But you still, I feel like they frigging underestimated you. That's how I feel. A lot of people look at you as small and they thought you were weak or something like that. <clears throat> But they didn't know you have a lot of love, God's love on your side. You're so powerful. You'd be like one of those spiritual warriors. I feel like people tested your faith. They tested your balance as well. You know? Especially with lower tiered energies. Yeah. But they had another thing coming. Because they thought you were going to keep quiet and you're going to be intimidated by whatever they were doing or not doing. This. We're going to look at this. What is the page of wands? The ace of wands. So, like this could be a magic wand. Like someone was trying to cast spells. I don't know. I don't want to go down that dark road because for some people it's like... You gotta be school, you gotta be strong, you gotta be wiser. The high priestess. Gotta stay together. Gotta be cool. A king 
can't understand what this is for. Please help me. Because, um, this is what they were trying to do against you. The challenge to make you afraid. You know? Well, let me tell you what this is. Someone, like, like, look. She has an innocent little face. Beautiful. Maybe she has scars. You know, her triggers. Maybe you had anger issues or um, sex issues, whatever. But I feel like someone tested you because they knew, like, they thought you were still the same person. They thought, oh my God, if I take away her lollipop, she's going to cry. But they didn't know, like, motherfucker, I don't like lollipops anymore. I like, I like, um, I like ice cream cake, whatever. Like, like this, I'm getting sex energy as well here. I don't know. This just looks like sex. Like, um, this is a big, or maybe it's not big. This is a penis. Like someone wanted to take away sex from you or hold it back or to act as if something about, like someone was saying, you're not going to get any of this. I don't know. <laughs> Once <laughs> it had something to do with work and money, mm. yeah, money investment. I don't know what they were trying to test you with. There's a lot of pentacles coming out, like all pentacles, all of these are pentacles energy. So, there's something about your work, your balance, your stability, your money with the ace of wands. But I can't quite put my finger on what it is because it's like, what the F? How did you think you would um, throw me off by taking something? Like someone wanted to take something away from you to starve you. Like maybe you inherited something that would have brought you a lot of wealth or it's, I don't know. So who is the page of ones? Who is this person? Another pentacles. This is like a mystery to me. I feel that like this person is a mystery. Like this person would be someone you probably wouldn't you haven't even met fully. Oh no. Alright, so we're gonna leave that message there. I hope you find some that resonates with you, is able to help you on your journey. Uh, well, if you did like the video, share the messages with those you love. Subscribe to the channel. Come back around again for whenever I upload new content for you. And until next time, I'll see you in the other video. Eat well, what good. Much love, right? And just to let you know, you're going to be okay in whatever this is. I feel that. Energy. Because remember, I say you're going to be victorious. But it's just that this this person is still lingering in my vibration even now because I feel like they wanted to challenge you, maybe to aggravate you. Something to draw you out. Maybe they wanted to take something away from you. Your anger, your own energy. So that... It's almost like so that they could then come around and um, replace it. Who the fuck is this person? Like this person could be an ex, right? Someone that you're blocked. A cheater. And this, this has a lot to do with your money, your vibration, your health, your strength, your spiritual awareness. Like someone didn't want you to be that aware, that smart. You know what I mean? Like I said, they underestimated you. They didn't know that you would be that fabulous. They wanted you to be meek. And to keep everything inside and to not tell the world what's going on. And they thought they would get away with disharming you or whatever. 
like they used to the same tricks but then it's like then you get up on a podium or whatever to testify and then you start i don't know you're spitting some truth some facts are you just being hardcore this person is shook they're like because they thought they were controlling you. They thought they had the control over you all along. They underestimated you. And like I said, like I say, you're maybe walking away, going on a, road, a journey on your own. I feel like you're literally free. It's like I'm getting the, like an open road kind of vibration and you taking what you, you're, you're like at the end of a movie and you're just walking off on this long road. And we know that you are a survivor. You know, we know that you're walking away with your inheritances. You're not normal. You're a very spiritual person. Yes. Yes, very intuitive. You are one that could walk on earth barefoot. You like you sense storms coming. You know, you can read the stars, vibration. You are amazing. And I, I, like you've been caught up before and now you're free. Like you're finally finding out who you are. And so you're, going, you're dreaming again. You're rethinking things. You're rescheduling. And so you're going on this journey now to be all that you are. Like before you may have been living like this. You may have been living in the city, wearing heels, all of these things. But then you found yourself. You detached from things that were robbing you of your natural gifts yourself and then it's like you decide to just go on a, a road becoming a seer a tarot reader some spiritual thing like you've just uncovered yourself and you're going on that journey and like i know you're gonna be so successful you're gonna be a leader you're, just, you're so outstanding all right so that's what we're gonna title this video they try to underestimate you but you are outstanding